Kyle Kuzma is finally starting to look somewhat decent and feels that means it's time to throw some shade. Let's break this down. What's up, everybody, and thanks for checking in with us once again here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and then you can head on over to all things social media and follow me at Jackie Ray TV. I know this is going to sound like I am making this up, but the Washington Wizards are currently tied for first place in the East. It doesn't roll off the tongue at all, but the Wizards are currently on a three-game win streak, and Kyle Kuzma is playing a big part in that. Kuz had 22 points and two steals in Washington's 97-94 win over the Cavs. The win improved the Wizards to a record of 8-5, and five, and the Cavs aren't doing too bad either. They are currently 6th in the East with a record of 7-5. and five. Getting a win against the Wizards would have pushed the Wizards out of the top spot, but Kyle Kuzma says it was the fans' fault that the Cavs lost that game. He said, quote, There was a sign that said LeBron won Kuz his ring, and they were just talking too much. Well, I told those guys without LeBron, Cleveland wouldn't be crap. No lies detected there. I don't have a problem at all with this comment, but this user said, so he's mad that LeBron traded him, huh? I didn't like that at all, and neither did Matt, who threw it back and said, how was that your takeaway? It was a call out, and then he threw it back and said, you're saying I'm nothing without LeBron. What are you without LeBron? Fair counter, honestly. I agree. Kuz was one of the three players Washington acquired from the Lakers in return for star Russell Westbrook this past offseason. Before you start saying, see, the Lakers should have kept Kyle Kuzma, just know that his overall numbers haven't improved at all. But he is getting exactly what he wanted, and that is the opportunity to spread his wings and break away from the star power of LeBron and the lights of L.A. I think this is a win-win for everyone. I am happy Kuz is no longer here in L.A., and I'm also happy that he's in a place where he can step up and be the kind of player he always wanted to be. The Wizards are off to a great start, but... Is it just going to be Wizards as usual? How do you think they will finish this season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble, and we'll see you next time.